Hello and welcome to my review of the 13 Doctors Collector Set. Now this has been out in the US for about a month now and in the UK there is still no news at the current moment in time of recording this video. So like many people in the UK we've gone out our way to try and find this on the internet. Now I got this off BigBadToyStore.com uh, and it was about 95 quid with about £40 postage so it made about, um, well $40 postage what made it to about um, 120 quid um, which is alright but if you are going to go down that line um, do expect import costs because that's when the price really does start to increase on this set if you are going to get it from America because it is quite a big set as you can tell 13 figures and the box is huge so that's a boring stuff so if you are going to go down the American line do expect import costs because that's when the set really just start to so creep up in price. So for the packaging, obviously we have the TARDIS motif, what's been seen on the 11 Doctor set, the uh, Time of the Doctor set and that 11th Doctor and Sonic Screwdriver pack. Uh, so of course we've got Doctor Who, 13 Doctors Collector set, obviously it's in the Collector's series packaging. What the scale is, includes the 12th Doctor and War Doctor, Choking Hazards, Underground Toys. Spine, we have Doctor Who. What the set includes again the scale and what the set is and on the back we have the figures displayed there uh, on the back so we have the first five doctors then six to war then we have the new boys. so opening yeah. up the set we the doors are held by uh, velcro straps and of course we have the figures displayed there very nicely with my limited edition number there because it's limited to four thousand so if we have a look at the first Doctor bio, so do feel free to pause to know what the first Doctor is about. Of course the second Doctor and it tells you what variant of costume they are from. And obviously we've got the third Doctor, which says from the Tide Monster, but it's from the three Doctors. And we've got the fourth Doctor bio there. Fifth Doctor. And sixth Doctor there. And then we have the seventh Doctor bio there. The eighth Doctor. War Doctor, Ninth Doctor, Tenth Doctor, and Eleventh Doctor, and finally the Twelfth Doctor. One there. thing to mention is that the packaging is bigger than the Eleventh Doctor set. Everybody can see it's a lot more wider and just a the little bit taller. Doctor, the costume based from the Web Planet. Now the figure itself is a repaint from the Eleventh Doctor set. Um, because you can tell that because of the head, because the head can be removed and I'll show you a little costume variant you can do with that uh, in a minute. Um, now the articulation is your standard first Doctor articulation, what we've all known and loved, so you all know the articulation that the head can do move side to side, the arms can do 360 bicep, elbow, wrist, waist and thigh and knee. That's all really standard first Doctor articulation. So for the detail, um, it is basically the Toys R Us paint apps um, applied on this First Doctor head sculpt to make him a lot more uh, neutral because if we look at the original First Doctor figure his eyes are very red and this is, gives it a lot more of a neutral look which I rather uh, like for this figure and it really does highlight the sculpt with all the, the wrinkles on uh, Bill's face which I really do like uh, on it. The hair is quite a darkish grey it's a lot more greyish than um, white to previous First Doctor because normally the first Doctor has quite uh, white hair but this is quite a, a darkish grey and it does have that nice detail with all the streaks of hair which is rather nice. Now the jacket has got this sort of brownish tint colour like the Invasion of the Dinosaurs Pertwee trousers um, but we've got the nice details there of the seams, the buttons along the cuffs and the buttons on the jacket and of course the pocket sculpted there. We've got Hartnell's bling which hasn't been painted on mine because Hartnell's renowned for having that blue ring but I'm not sure if that's just mine it hasn't been painted but it's just got this nice uh, silver ring. The torso we've got this nice sort of creamish colour cravat with the stripes which is accurate to the story. Then we've got the sort of brownie sort of tea mustard colour sort of waistcoat um, with the sort of stripey design. I'm not sure if the stripes were on the waistcoat. Um, I'm sure the waistcoat was accurate, but I'm not sure about the patterning design. We've got the monocle sculpted there. And then the trousers, this is where it gets a bit more interesting because obviously um, looking at pictures and clips of the web planet, uh, it looks like it is the original first Doctor trousers and it just looks like they just changed them for the sake of it. But I'm not complaining because I think it's quite a nice little variant of Hartnell having these trousers. Um, so we've got a sort of light brown base colour 
Then we've got some dark grey, uh, no, it's not dark grey, dark brown um, for, the, uh, for the checkered design, which I really do like. The shoes are like, um, we've got a spat design, like the Seeds of Doom 4th Doctor. We've got some two buttons there, and it's less prominent on this, and they've got a nice little detail there of a sort of uh, brownie wash over there. So using the first Doctor from the Unearthly Child, you can just take the head off, like, like so, and then you can place the uh, cape. I'm just going to take this off camera show you. Do it, it'll be a lot more quicker. And there we are. And then you can just place the head on the body, um, like so. And then you've got this nice little variant of the first Doctor. Obviously, it's not been screen used, but if you are going to do a first Doctor figure adventure series and you want Hartnell to have a different costume, then this would be quite a nice little lifty one. I think that looks quite nice actually. There we are, we can make a nice the little The second Doctor Hartnell. from the two Doctors. Now it's quite interesting in terms of multi-Doctor set for the second Doctor because he doesn't get a costume from his own era because last time we saw a multi-Doctor set in the 11 Doctor set we got the three Doctors Troughton and in the 13 Doctor set we get the two Doctors Troughton figure um, but this can be rectified because if they were going to release a fur coat Troughton and I hope they do one day along with the Yeti, what we've seen um, they could basically plop this head onto the fur coat trout and say look it's the five doctors trout and um, yeah that seems like character options logic if they were going to do that articulation if you've got a second doctor figure you know the drill the head can move side to side but it's hindered by the collar arms can do a 360 bicep elbow and wrist I'm not sure if they rectify the hands because the hands normally do pop out on the second doctor figures waist can do a 360 you've got thigh of the um, legs are on a T crotch um, joint they can't kick out because they're hindered by the coat and knee and no boot articulation. So for detail, we've got basically a repainted version of the Free Doctors Troughton because um, he looks a lot different to the original Troughton release back in 2009 um, with a nice sort of sharpness in the paint app so you can tell it's definitely Troughton with a sort of beetle haircut and obviously the hair has been given this sort of grey wash to show that he's aged obviously because he's going have grey hair in the two doctors and it really does highlight the sculpt with all the sort of patterning on the hair the jacket is done really nice a nice sort of crimpled effect with the bagginess of the pockets to show that he's got loads of stuff inside and um, to give that illusion you've got a nice seam design and of course the two buttons there the torso you've got this nice sort of greyish blue um, shirt with some creases on to give it that lifelike effect and of course you've got the skew with bow tie and the handkerchief which has been given this nice bit of colour which really does pop on this figure and really does stand out you've got um, a sort of greenish um, colour trousers with the nice sort of checker design and now I think this is a first for a second Doctor figure to have sort of the brownish uh, coloured boots which I really do like because um, you get this nice nice little detail on them so yeah I really like this figure, it's a nice little addition but it would have been nice to have the fur coat trout and I'm just going to keep saying that because the figures out there somewhere so there we are comparing them to the other second doctor figures to stand out also and i forgot to mention that these two figures do not come with any accessories um, which is all right for hartnell because hartnell in some stories didn't have the walking stick and troughton i don't think you could have given his recorder because he didn't have it in the story i don't think from the memory third doctor john pertwee All praise to the great one. now on the box it states that this figure is from the time monster which is completely wrong as the third Doctor didn't have a bow tie or cravat in the Time Monster, it was basically open shirt. The jacket is correct, um, as he did have the orange jacket in the Time Monster, what was first seen in the Curse of Paladin, if my memory serves me correct, but the actual costume of this figure is from the Three Doctors, and the first part of Planet of the Spiders when him and the Brigadier are seeing that show in episode one. Basically, the figure is basically the figure we've seen way back in 2009, um, first seen on the Green Death Third Doctor, then used on the Death of the Daleks Third Doctor, then the Time Warrior in 2011, and most re recently the B&M one, and of course this one. Um, now they have used the B&M paint apps, which I really do like, like I said in that video, that um, that paint apps really have done perfectly justice. It really does look like uh, the Third Doctor, really does get the cragginess of John's face um, the hair is done nice with this sort of white, white uh, base coat um, with a grey wash to really highlight the third Doctor's glorious mane of hair. 
Uh, the shirt just done really nice with the buttons and the frill sculpted. Bow tie just done rather nice um, with a sort of uh, black browny sort of colour on it. Then we've got the nice sort of trim on the jacket um, with the sort of frog's feet sort of toddles there that what clasp the jacket together. Obviously they're not sculpted um, because character dude on the cheap, but they've done a really nice job continuing the trim around the cuff of the jacket, the pocket sculpted there, and obviously the nice detailing on the jacket itself. The trousers have done really nice with the creases um, and they're sort of a greyish colour with the matte black uh, shoes. So I really do like this figure, probably one of my favourites. Well, my favourite from the set because I wanted this figure ever since they did the third Doctor figure. Um, and I found it odd that we never got it straight away because in the 11 Doctor set we got uh, first and second from the three Doctors. It's like, where's, where's the third Doctor from the three Doctors? And then we got the three Doctor set with no third Doctor in, um, which was just like, oh, we could have had that figure. Um, the articulation, I'll just quickly go overhead. Um, bicep, elbow, wrist, waist, thigh and knee. Um, it would have been nice if they included the cape for this because basically they've just got to use the Sea Devils for a Doctor figure and just paint the lining blue instead of red and I think that would have been a really nice inclusion. Of course it does come with his trusty sonic screwdriver which I can just grab now. Obviously it's the exact same sonic we've seen before obviously. I think the third Doctor Sonic did have um, three lines but this has two but obviously um, it's done on a small scale so they can't really get the exact line um, done but it's a nice little inclusion because he did fourth use doctor the from Legopolis or just say season 18 for argument's sake now as you can see here's the original one released back in 2010 you can see that it's a vast improvement now the season 18 Tom Baker figure has become quite a difficult figure to get I've seen it going for about 70 to 100 quid it's just been going phenomenal so this is a great little um, figure to have in the set for people who just want to get this figure um, in general so articulation the head arms um, bicep elbow wrist um, waist but it is hindered by the coat legs do move um, you've got knee and of course you've got boot um, so I'm just going to do a quick First comparison of the scarf you've just got to see how much better the 13 doctors scarf is compared to the one released back in 2010 it's a lot more screen accurate and just looks a hell of a lot better the jacket is now a different color um, a more darker burgundy colour. I mean, it looks brown on camera, but it is um, a more burgundy colour, um, which I really do like. So, for the face sculpt, the new Tom Baker figure has been given a more neutral look um, to the figure. The hair has now been given a sort of brown wash with some grey highlights instead of sort of the black with grey highlights um, on it. And I've got to say, it's more better having this new neutral look for the fourth Doctor on terms of face sculpt. Um, the buttons have now been painted on the jacket, as you can see. Got the nice creases on the jacket, and again on the back. Now the boots are different. The boots so if I just are lift different. As you can see they're a lot more uh, darker brown, um, with the new ones having a sort of a black wash to show a bit more wear in the creases to show that it's more realistic, which I really do like. Of course, he does come with his trusty sonic screwdriver, but we all know what the fourth Doctor sonic screwdriver looks now because we've seen hundreds of them released over the years. Now I've got to say. This is a much improved fourth Doctor figure. And if you haven't got your hands on the season 18 Tom Baker figure, then you're in luck because this is probably the best we're ever gonna get um, for the season 18 Tom Baker with the a lot more improved scarf and of course the, the fifth Doctor face sculpt. from the Awakening, or for argument's sake, let's just say season 21. Um, yeah, so if we quickly go over articulation, we've got head, arms, um, bicep, elbow, wrist, waist, thigh and knee. Now the original um, season 21 Fifth Doctor was released way back in like 2011 then was sort of we first saw the body in 2009 with the Sixth Doctor regeneration set but the head sculpt for this I've got to say is a lot better and um, it looks better in hand I saw some dodgy sort of photos and really can tell that it is the Fifth Doctor and so I always thought the lips looked a bit odd on the 13 Doctors one um, but the hair is done fantastic as you can see you got sort of that blonde wash but with a dark wash over it to show that Peter's hair got darker because it did start to go sort of a brownie colour towards the end of his time when he was with Doctor. The jacket is a different colour, it's a darker sort of beige. Now the trim of the jacket is now done sort of an orange colour instead of the red. The celery's now got this sort of orange tint on it which is really nice. Um, the jumper is different but it still retains that nice little woolen sort of texture to it. 
um, with instead of the sort of the band at the bottom, but it's two red stripes instead of the single one. And uh, the buttons have now been painted sort of a black colour um, instead of sort of the weird sort of pinkish colour on them. As you can see, they've been painted on the cuff. Um, and it's got the nice detailing of the seam of the jacket, which is really nice. Now with trousers is where the really noticeable difference is. Obviously, this one here is a lot more accurate to the season 21 trousers, but this is just done for the variant sake, but it's a peach base colour and then darker peach sort of colour for the trousers, which I really like. The shoes, yes, this is where it gets a bit more interesting, is they've added sort of a grey wash to them, show a bit of use. As you can see, they look rather nice. If you just get that one, you can't really see the detail on that one it really does highlight the detail on the figure and this is the only reason i can think of why they could be sort of this color is because of the malice when it breaks through the church you know the rubble would be falling so they would have got a bit dusty so that's the only reason i can think of why they're like that and the detail like i say is just fantastic you can tell it is the fifth up in the hair i've got to say is a really nice little feature but they've added that jumper's really nice a nice little texture of the wool, the button sculpted a bit of a celery, nice little inclusion, and overall just a great little figure. Um, the Sonic True Driver, though he didn't have it um, in the Awakening, he had it only till the visitation. This is the first fifth Doctor Sonic to have the white band, so we finally got a proper, accurate fifth Doctor Sonic, which is really nice. And I've got to say, this is one of my favourites from the set the as well. Sixth Doctor, what a piece of art this figure is. Obviously. This is supposedly meant to be off real time, but this is real time, um, and you can just see how more detailed this new Colin is. Um, and this figure really does reflect the animation of real time with it just being basic, because if they were to add all this detail, that would have been rather tedious for the animators adding all that detail. So that's real time Colin. This is big finish Colin, what we saw in like covers such as Project Lazarus and uh, The Wrong Doctors. Um, so if we look at uh, the head sculpt, some rather nice paint apps are fantastic on this with the nice little blonde highlights to really show Colin's curls. We've got the blue question marks on the shirt. We've got the nice blue patchworks around the lapels. And of course, we've got the nice little cravat there with the black uh, stars on with a nice little cat badge sculpted there. All the different shades of blue just done magnificently. It really does stand out really nicely on the shelf. We've got the nice gold chain, which really does make the figure pop. Um, when you just look at it there, it just stands out because the base figure for this figure is the uh, Terror of the Vervoid one because it's got the same cravat design, waistcoat and of course cat badge design um, so it's basically a repainted Terror of the Vervoid one The trousers are now this sort of uh, very dark blue with um, black lines going across it the shoes are done really nice with the sort of um, dark blue there with the uh, sort of darkish turquoise colour and then on the back Wow, just look at that. This is really nice with all the different shades of blue for like the patchworks. It is just magnificent, even a little sculpting there on the figure. So really this must have cast the cost character a bomb because the Colin Baker figures are really quite expensive to make because of the whole design of the coat and what have you. But it's done really nice with just so that the comparison is just magnificent. I really do love this figure. Um, articulation, you know the drill, head arms, bicep, elbow, um, wrist, waist, thigh and knee. Um, he does come with his Sonic Lance which is now black um, with this nice white stripe. I don't remember having the white stripe on the real time one or the original one would come back in wave one. Uh, so there's Colin, magnificent figure, one of the highlights of the set. But the only negative is he's a bit of a pain in the bum to stand up but when he does he looks magnificent. The seventh so Doctor are from Colin. Ghost Light but this figure from Ghost Light and he's got the TV movie trousers so it looks like character tried to do the TV movie McCoy but they just couldn't for some reason so I'm going to class this as basically an amalgamation of the 7th Doctor's costume with season 26 and the TV movie so this is when he first sort of tried his TV movie trousers on um, so if you look at, uh, well do articulation, you know the drill it's head, arms, bicep, elbow, wrist, um, waist, legs do kick out and then thigh, knee that's it really. Now the head is a lot more better. Um, I've got to say that the face sculpts on these are a lot more neutral in the 13 Doctor's set as you can see. Looks a lot better. The hair's done alright. I prefer the hair done on the original one just with that sort of brown tint to really just highlight the sculpt on the original one. The tie's different. This one's got a lot more silver in it. The scarf's got a different sort of paisley design and the chain is now silver instead of gold and the jumper is now a different yellow, more of a pale yellow 
but still retains the inaccurate number of question marks. The little handkerchief has now got this little green motif instead of the red. But the most notable difference is the trousers, of course, with that green uh, checkered design as well. The shoes are now a lighter brown, but with a gloss wash, um, which is rather nice. And the jacket is now a matte brown, um, but with the little buttons um, painted instead of just being left. So that's rather nice. And the detail is rather nice, as you can see, really nice um, capturing of Sylvester's likeness. The pocket scope there and obviously the handkerchief done rather nice with the creases of the trousers and the sort of uh, brogue design there. For accessories, Sylvester comes with a matte um, coloured umbrella, um, which is rather nice. And of course, for the first time ever, the Seventh Doctor comes with a sonic screwdriver. What really does indicate that they did try to do the TV movie um, Sylvester and of course it's a standard one but we saw with the Knight of the Doctor. So Sylvester, nice few little subtle the Doctor from Knight of the Doctor. Yeah, a bizarre figure because it looks like a toddler tried to have a tea party with the Eighth Doctor and tried to feed McGann jam and get it on his face. Um, we'll talk about that in a minute. Articulation is obviously head, got a ball joint, arms, bicep, elbow, wrist, waist, thigh, knee and boot. So obviously the main difference is the head, we'll look at that in a minute. So the necktie is now a glossy blue and the coat is now a darker green with some sort of grey sort of detailing to show that it's been scuffed uh, along it as well on the cuffs and again on the back you've got sort of a muddied effect on the back of the jacket. The waistcoat's now different, it's got a black wash on the actual waistcoat and the chain has now been painted. The sculpting hasn't really come right on the belt, it looks a bit sort of sloppy. Trousers are slightly darker and the boots are now a dark brown with some sort of mud on them, uh, on them as well. Uh, so if we look at the face, yeah, look at Jam McGann, that sort of works in a way. Um, yeah, it looks better in hand, I will say that, um, but from a distance it looks quite cool, I guess, it looks a bit battered. Um, the hair's done really nice with the curls, and I like the sort of scuffing detail on the jacket, really just work rather nice, and all the creases, um, which really do accentuate with the sort of wash, we really just get in the in there to show the detailing of the laces of the boots which is rather nice, really do like that feature and the sort of weird squibbly things at the back of the jacket with the creases um, yeah, an alright figure, one of the weaker ones of the set um, but uh, yeah, the head is removable so you can put um, that head on there so if you want a clean Knight of a Doctor head sculpt on this sort of scuffed up Ape Doctor then yeah, you can uh, he does come with his sonic screwdriver, what we've all seen before with the Sylvester McCoy one. Um, nothing really to say, really good sonic The sculpt. War Doctor, of course, from Day of the Doctor with more accurate uh, paint apps. Um, so articulation, let's quickly go for it because you know the drill. Head, uh, ball joint, arms, bicep, elbow, wrist, waist, and then we've got no thigh, knee, and then boot articulation. Um, so if we look at uh, the detailing and differences of this figure obviously the main difference is the jacket paint apps as well the hair is now a darker grey on the new war doctor again this figure has the neutral paint apps and really just highlight the sculpt of the hair this new um, wash in the hair we've got the black jacket with hints of sort of orange to show a bit of weathering the scarf is now different with sort of the white lines will make it more prominent on the figure the bandolier has now got a bit of copper effect to show it's a bit rusty and a black wash over the waistcoat. Again, we've got the chain painted there. Got the ba uh, belt, what hasn't been painted. The trousers are now sort of a blackish brown colour and the boots have now got a green sort of tint to them and the shoes have got a little bit of weathering with a little green tip at the end to show a bit of wear and tear. So that's basically the differences um, with this figure. So if we quickly look at the detail, obviously you can tell it is John Hurt. Um, with this sort of detailness and you've got a nice little crackiness of the face because the paint apps are rather light uh, to this you can see sort of the ridges on his forehead um, love the detail on the waistcoat with a sort of uh, black wash on it and the rusty effect on the bandolier obviously we've got the buttons sculpted on the jacket the pockets there um, the nice creases effect on the jacket and the trousers I've got to say have done rather nice you've got a nice little button sculpted on the sort of um, boots sort of effect thing there 
and of course buckle there and one open which is rather nice and he does of course come with his sonic screwdriver what is exactly the, the same. The doctor supposedly from parting of the ways but it's not because that's parting of the ways Eccleston and I think this is going to be Aliens of London uh, Eccleston but it's wrong because of the shirt or the jumper because it's meant to be a navy blue not purple um, yeah but um, obviously if we look at the other Eccleston figures the jacket has now got this sort of brown heavy brown washer which show that it's quite weathered um, but I think they've done it a bit too much obviously the shirt's different and the trousers are now this sort of greyish colour which I'm not really a fan of because I don't remember the Ninth Doctor having um, grey trousers so we've got head, um, arms, bicep, elbow, hands, waist and then legs can kick out and knee so your standard Ninth so Doctor look articulation at, uh, the detail for this obviously you can tell it's Christopher Eccleston but he's got a bit of a slug eyebrows going on uh, brown wash on the jacket I think yeah it's good it is a bit excessive and it really just sort of highlight the sculpt in some areas you know you've got the button sculpted there the pockets you know the buttons on the cuff and especially on the back you know you really get to see the batteredness of a jacket with this sort of buckle there really nice detailing on the jacket um, which really does stand out on the figure trousers done nice you know nice few creases on them give that life like a look and of course you've got these matte black boots uh, that's all you really can say on Eccleston really um, he does come with his trusty sonic screwdriver what we've seen um, numerous times but I think the admitter is a different colour I mean I would have preferred if they went down the line of this sort of batteredness but I really like that sort of effect on that jacket instead of the sort of heavy sort of brown wash over it but uh, nevertheless it's a nice figure nice to get another variant of Eccleston even though we haven't seen this variant of costume on screen um, but nonetheless good figure. 10th Doctor from the Shakespeare Code so if we look at articulation quickly we've got head arms elbow then we've got a bit of waist legs can kick out and knee so your standard 2006 tenant articulation so for differences the hair is now different it's got more of a sort of uh, brown wash over it um, instead of just being straight up um, brown the jacket is now a lighter brown color as you can see not glossy um, and the buttons are now painted on the jacket itself um, now for the suits obviously the shirt is now white instead of a pale blue and the tie is now brown instead of having a sort of patterned design the stripes on the suit are now a more vibrant blue so it really does pop on the figure and the main differences are the converse um, they are now got this muddy look instead of the clean look on them so if we have a closer look at the detail for this figure again you can tell that it's the 10th doctor um, because we've grown to love this sculpt over the years because we've had so many 10th doctor figures um, the jackets are rather nice with all the creases and the pockets sculpted there and all the seams of a jacket um, it's just done rather nice um, the suit yeah it's done nice nice detailing on it with the pinstripes uh, and the button sculpted there um, but my favorite bit is the actual converse uh, if the camera will focus on them um, because you really do get that nice little muddy effect that he's been wearing them uh, that he's been running around and just a great bit of detail that sort of black wash on them it is rather nice and of course he comes with his trusty sonic screwdriver nice little addition but there's still some temp doctor figures we rather see maybe um the updated head sculpt on you know just the plain suited body that would be nice but yeah nice little addition nice few little tweaks the 11th to the doctor figure. based from his beast below costume now basically you can just say series 5 matt smith but to me this figure seems like an amalgamation of the fez doctor and the christmas adventure set of matt smith because it looks very similar to this one in terms of sort of the jacket and the shirt design but this is a lot more accurate to the proper series 5 matt smith so if i bring in the original you can see that the paint apps on the face have been improved a lot better you can just see again it has that neutral look and it's been given that sort of dark brown um, sort of hair with the light brown wash over it which is a lot more accurate to Matt's hair the shirt stands out a lot more and the bow tie is a bit more vibrant and the shirt again is a lot uh, is a lighter sort of tan brown colour with the buttons there painted and we've got the lovely tweed effect what we've grown to love on all the Matt Smith figures and then we've got the sort of pocket sculpted there and of course the elbow patches and we've got the navy trousers again what makes me think that it's sort of an amalgamation of those because it's got the navy trousers seen on the fez doctor now the boots have done really nicely with the black gloss and um, with the sort of weathering on them with the sort of the brown tip there that he's been running around etc so it really is a nice little figure so if we look at articulation head 
arms, bicep, elbow, wrists, waist, thigh and knee. So your standard Matt Smith articulation from uh, your Series 5 Matt Smith figure. So yeah, it's done really nicely. I love this figure. It's one of the figures what I wasn't really looking forward to, but having it in hand, I've grown to appreciate it a lot. Obviously, he comes with his nice trusty sonic screwdriver, what is open, camera focus, which is exactly the same as the time of a doctor sculpted sonic screwdriver. The, the same 12th sort of Doctor, emitter. Peter Capaldi, again, character, have labelled him wrong, saying he's from Deep Breath, but uh, of course, he's from Time Heist. Mm -hmm. So if we have a look at articulation, then we go on to a comparison. So obviously, we've got head, ball jointed arms, and arms move, of course. Got bicep, elbow, hands, waist, thigh, knee and of course the boots. Um, so for differences with this figure is the paint apps on the head. As you can see the hair is a lot more greyer on the original which I do prefer um, which is rather nice but yeah it, it looks like a young Capaldi, it looks like he's still doing Malcolm Tucker in this figure. Um, of course the jacket is now a much more lighter navy blue colour you can see but it was um, navy blue in the original. Uh, the shirt is now a glossy black, the trousers are exactly the same and the boots are now a matte black. So those are really the differences, so if we have a closer look at uh, the detail. Yeah, you can sort of see Capaldi within the sculpt, I don't think they fully mastered Peter Capaldi's um, sculpt yet. I think the closest we've got is the Time of the Doctor set, and of course the head is removable so you can put that head on if you wish. Um, the detailing on the coat's done rather nice with the three buttons there. And of course the creases and the pocket sculpted there and the lining there. And here's one of the criticisms I've got with this figure. You know Capaldi has red lining, you know, just look there, red lining. Um, and then we come to this figure's lining. It's It looks like a pale orange, it looks like it's been in the sun and it's faded a hell of a lot. That just looks terrible. Um, when has Capaldi's lining ever been like this? You know, it's meant to be a nice vibrant red, not a faded sort of orange thing so that's really a negative for this figure I just really don't like the lining on that um, really the trousers are done really nice you've got the belt sculpted there and the creases on the shirt and of course you've got Capaldi's wedding ring and the buttons on the cuffs the boots um, they are meant to be glossy because Doc Martens are generally quite glossy the ones he's got um, are but you do get the detailing of the uh, brogue design on them on the toes which is rather nice uh, yeah, it's kind of an odd figure really. One of my least favourite ones because there's not really been much altered and when I saw that I thought, yeah, that's a bit of a naff thing really. To what do, are my overall thoughts on the 13 Doctor set, Collector set? I have to say, I absolutely love it. I love the few tweaks that they've given, you know, I especially love the third Doctor and, you know, the first Doctor. They, there are some real standout figures, even the fifth Doctor, the sixth Doctor, you know, and some of the figures like the Knight of the Doctor and McGann got a few nice little tweaks to the existing figure what really does make it stand out and they all are practically nice little variants so I forgot to mention the 12th Doctor does come with his little sonic screwdriver as seen in the previous uh, 12th Doctor releases so overall I think that it's a marvellous set and hopefully it will be released in the UK and not just become an American exclusive because at the moment it's becoming a modern day time crash set and um, hopefully FP will get it or Toys R Us and uh, we will get it near uh, Christmas time hopefully because that will be a perfect time for this set. So thank you very much for watching this video, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please do give it a like if you've enjoyed this video and subscribe if you haven't already if you like what you see. So thank you very much for watching and goodbye.